So, in a search to find a air scrubber for my um, 3D printer, I stumbled across Rod Laird's um, Thingiverse uh, couplings for a uh, a respirator filter and a um, high static pressure fan. So this particular fan is a uh, Delta PFB0612UHE and uh, this is a very powerful 12 volt um, high static pressure fan. It's, it's more powerful than the uh, the Orion that um, uh, Rod uh, suggests using. The uh, respirator filter is uh, different from the one Rod suggests. It's the uh, it's the R621 uh, which can be found on Amazon using the coupling uh, made by uh, Jake um, I wanted to uh, put it together now it doesn't have a front cowl on it so there's going to be some pressure reduction with the, the front cowl but I just wanted to show you that um, that even at higher voltages you are moving very little air through this filter I'm not sure if it's the filter that's different but there's something different in this setup that um, appears at least at uh, first glance different than Rod's because Rod's, Rod claims that uh, he's getting very good airflow through it um, so here let me uh, let me turn this on and we'll see uh, exactly what we're moving through this filter so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my uh, DC variable power supply on and we're gonna start at uh, 5 volts which is about the starting point for the motor now um, right now at, at 5 volts the noise is uh, pretty good and it's not too loud the problem is that it's not pulling enough air to even move the vein inside of the uh, the Amprobe TMA40 uh, manometer so I'm gonna go ahead and go to 6 volts you can hear the uh, noise picks up fairly substantially but again the uh, vein won't start so what I found was that I need to go above 9 volts to get the fan to start moving so at 9 volts this thing is loud and as you can see at 9 volts we're moving roughly 150 feet per minute now the CFM is 6.4 and that's calculated um, the square inch I programmed into this is 6 um, 6 square inches which give or take a little bit is, is fairly close so 6.4 cubic feet per minute and I question whether that is even remotely enough to overcome the natural draft from the heat of the 3D printing that uh, would just escape out of the top of the printer at least for my Flash Forge uh, Creator Pro so down back down to 5 volts um, this thing will eventually just stop the vein will stop and uh, it will no longer register it does take some time but uh, you can see it just stopped so what I found was if you get it started if you get the vein started which is probably a, a you know a, a limitation of the amp probe that I'm using the uh, the manometer that I'm using so if I go to 9, get the vein started, and then reduce the voltage to 7.5, it will remain running, and I pull roughly anywhere from 
one to four point three typically. And so, so in this case, I'm one close to five. I, I still don't think that even at five CFM that it, it's enough to overcome the drafting caused by the heat of 3D printing. So I'm not even sure that this is at all effective. So a couple of things I've done in order to even get it to uh, to run, you know, four to five CFM at seven and a half volts, um, is to cut out some of the the filter material uh, in here. This will go in here, and then the other side would have this. So the, the first time I went a little crazy and uh, cut everything out and when when you do that this is what happens all the uh, carbon uh, falls out so that, that didn't work so on the next one I cut out as you can see just the, I left the uh, the rim around both sides and that seems to, to hold up pretty good. I have no idea long term um, if that would uh, remain intact or if I would wind up blowing carbon out the uh, through the fan so that's one of the things that that helped the other thing that helped was putting a small gasket around the fan part along with um, taking these rubber bands and wrapping them twice so there's a, a pretty strong fit uh, between this edge in this uh, coupling. This, uh, the filter is really snug in this coupling. I have to actually force it down in there. So I don't think there's a whole lot of leakage taking place here uh, around the, uh, the coupling and the uh, filter. So um, yeah, I've, I've done all that I can reasonably to, uh, to mitigate air leaks and to draw as much air through this uh, respirator filter as I can. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of just how powerful this fan is. Um, it's it's going to be loud. I'm going to go to um, first. I'll go to five, six, seven and a half, nine, and twelve volts, so you can see just how powerful this thing is. Now, of course, this is not with any resistance. This will just be free air. So, uh, let's see if I can do this without affecting this. All right, so we're set. Let's go ahead and go to 5 volts. That is five volts, free air. We're moving 928 feet per minute, 38 CFM. Six volts, 45 CFM. Seven point five volts, 54. Nine volts, sixty four, sixty three ish, twelve volts, almost two thousand feet per minute at seventy seven, seventy eight CFM.
That is ridiculous. So I want to thank Rod for a, uh, a fantastic design. I think that it's um, well done, well thought out. Um, I just don't think that it's very effective, at least with this filter. Um, it appears that other people are having great success with it, but uh, I just think that at least with this respirator filter, it's just not enough to uh, the oak, uh, overcome the, uh, the natural drafts of uh, 3D printing. So maybe I'll try Ultra HEPA filter and see how that works and uh, move from there.